Hello everyone, this is Krusty783 here, and I found myself pretty dissatisfied with the stock Crystal King minifigure. It's a great minifigure, but the main problem is, is that it's not really accurate to the show at all. So, I figured I'd get a marker, get some custom parts, and this is the outcome. I feel like it definitely has room to improve, but for a minifigure I made in about a combined length of 10 minutes, I think it turned out pretty good. So I thought it'd be fun to break down exactly what I've changed in comparison to the stock one and show you all how to do it. So the first thing about this minifigure I changed is the hands. The base Crystal King minifigure has black hands rather than grey, which it looks great in minifigure form, but that's not how the figure looks in the show. If you look in the show, you'll see that his hands pretty consistently say the same colour as the rest of his body. If not, they become a light grey colour. It's really weird. As a result, I figured I'd just give him grey hands because that's the most consistent with what we see in the show. As for all of these modifications, I'm going to be showing you where I got the parts from. And in this case, I got the parts from a whatever this guy's called. A Mango Whipper? Pyro Whipper? Guy? I, I forget the name of these guys. Whatever the case, I harvested two of their hands. The next thing I changed is the colour of his horns. The base Crystal King minifigure has horns of this colour, although it's not this exact mould, which, while good, I think doesn't contrast with the teeth too well. The show version stays pretty consistently either grey or white, so I figured white would be a good compromise, especially given grey isn't too accurate in of itself. And also, grey wouldn't work too well for my next modification. As for where I got the white horn pieces from, spares of them come on the Boreal set from the Castle of the Forsaken Emperor. Last but not least, and probably the most notable change, is I went to WH Smiths and bought a pen. This is a white oil pen, and basically how it works is it's just you draw on it and it stays there in the color you want. Let me give you a demonstration to show what I mean. Let's say you want to add some white to Kai's hair. Forgive me before I do this, this is a loose piece, it doesn't really work anymore. All you need to do is literally just draw on where you want it, and it comes up white. You gotta be careful because sometimes there's a lot of oil that comes out of the pen, and obviously when you're modifying something as small as the Crystal King's teeth, that could end up leading to, well, that. But as long as you play it safe, you should be fine. So yeah, um, these oil pens, I got this one, if you live in the UK, I got it from WH Smith. I got it for about £5, and it it's literally just basically a paint pen, pretty much. That's the best way to summarize it. And you got to make sure once you do this, you leave it to dry. Because if you, if you just, like, take it immediately, then that happens. And now I have a bunch of white on my thumb. I hope that demonstration was worth it. And this is the finished result of my painting. I think that this half teeth is really good, to be honest. I feel like I could have went in a bit closer here, but all in all, I feel like this half side is very good. However, this tooth got kind of botched. I got a bit of white like there and had to go over it with like a black pen, but I think it's not noticeable when you got it far away. Let me know what you think of this minifigure. Do you think this is an upgrade or do you think I ruined the teeth so much that it doesn't look so good? I'd love to hear what you think in the comments down below. And if you have any other ways to make the Crystal King more show accurate, be sure to let me know also. I'd love to hear them. Thank you so much for watching this quick video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like on it and share it with a friend if you found it entertaining enough to do so. Thank you to my wonderful channel members whose names are listed on screen now. Your monetary contributions to the channel are greatly appreciated. If you want to become a member and get your name displayed with the other members yourself, be sure to hit the join button on my channel page, but don't feel pressured to. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.